So, what I'm going to do uh, is pretend to be some kind of investigator. We're going to throw some various components together, hopefully some of which will uh, flick a few switches with you. Um, okay, so this is the application that you saw demonstrated. Um, <laughs> I won't restore it because that was the previous uh, thing we had to go at. So, this is the, the whiteboard. So, obviously I can start by, um, we can call this uh, yeah, invest. This is where I do a live uh, spelling mistake uh, and we all chuckle because I'm a bit dyslexic. So we're going to call it an investigation regarding our, a guy who's run away with a new huge imaginary bag of cash and his name is Jack the Hat. Now poor Jack's taken on a bit of a life recently because we're, we've been working on this fictitious story so um, forgive me if I get carried away. Uh, so here is our friend Jack the Hat. Now you might not have noticed but, uh, but Jack wears a hat hence why we call him Jack the Hat. So um, I can annotate this now and I can, I can actually choose for example to go with red text and point out perhaps some of his key features. So we'll write in here features. Uh, for example, and you'll, you'll notice now how good I am at observation. Um, hat. And obviously these could be incredibly um, mundane things even, not as observant as my own. Um, and, and you could you get the general idea that you, uh, you would be able to um, sort of select everything on here and then uh, we'll just grab it, make it a little bit smaller so that we can uh, move. Uh, we'll just throw it out of the way there for example. Just to give us an idea. So, so that's the first part. I'm going to make a load of notes in that. We're just going to move them out of the way. Some of the things we might include would be, say, closed circuit television um, footage of, um, say, for example, somewhere where we believed an accomplice would, uh, was actually filmed. Uh, and with this one, this is, uh, this is just taken from YouTube, where I imagine uh, most of your clients uh, hang out. So, so obviously these are, um, uh, these are accomplices of our friend here and hopefully with this software we're going to be able to identify where they are um, and when we spot them we'll be able to grab one. So come on give me a decent bit of footage. Okay there you go. So uh, this, is, this is definitely somebody that we need to be looking out for um, uh, when we get an error. And this, this has been happening of late and we're not wholly sure why. So I'll just move this out of the way in the hope it didn't work, did it? So uh, let's try that. There we go. And I've just realised what the trick is, is not to make it round. So there we go. So we can have that and we can continue with that on in uh, playing. So it's, it's playing in the background while, uh, while I grab this character. And obviously I can, uh, I can throw him over there for a minute and then we can grab this one and go back to finding more accomplices because uh, this is this is, we'll call him um, Billy the Head, because that's, uh, he's mostly head. So um, we'll grab something else here, uh, and we'll pause it. And this is obviously gone to a dark piece, so that was maybe not the best place to pause it. Uh, no, I actually think I practiced this, but I haven't. Right, that's not a good one. I'm going to catch one in a minute. There you go. Got him. All right, perfect. So uh, we're going to grab him as well, and we're going to call him Jimmy, because clearly anybody who does that needs treating. Um, so again, and that's the video reference file that we might want to throw down there. I'm going to come back to these guys in a bit and make some notes on them. Um, but other things we might uh, might be including would be perhaps, oh, I don't know, some evidence. So uh, newspaper. This is a newspaper article that we found on Jack the Hat. Uh, which we can also include, and of course it would be rude not to, uh, to grab a pen and make comments about, uh, for example, his famous hat, yes. Um, and you can see I've got a bit of a hat fetish. So you get the general idea, when we actually could go in and out of this particular uh, desktop, it, it begins to, to shape and form, and you can bring pretty much anything in. The video is great to bring in and manipulate by hand, but um, it's one of those things we were trying to do on the desktop and it doesn't quite work that way. So you get the general idea. What else have we got down here that we could include? Um, let's go to, uh, to here. And, and if I was on here, for example, I might want to go to Google Maps or the equivalent, which is the Microsoft version, which we talked about. 
aerial view and again you've got this ability to dive straight on in and look into great detail about so for example this uh, power station that has almost certainly been doing bad things with public funding from somewhere um, and being a Windows 8 device of course you can just quickly uh, flip on here uh, and if I wanted to grab anything like a screenshot of the desktop uh, I could do that um, put any images anything like that and I'm desperately trying it so one of the other things that we might include for example would be uh, some finances and this is one of the features that we like with uh, this particular application this is obviously Excel and we're talking about that probably looks like nothing from there but you get the idea that you can pinch in and out on here and actually if I just grab that um, you get the idea that you can very very quickly have some data coming in we've got fixed so it's not going to allow me to do that so I'm going to find another one that does and um, we'll do it there so you get the idea you can pinch and zoom and highlight so say for example we're analyzing this particular data um, within here you've got a feature to start inking um, for example I might grab a red pen and say we definitely need to be questioning this component uh, these components here and here and then grabbing blue and asking well why and possibly here really you get the, the general idea and of course surprisingly they stay directly within the file and proportional when you're zooming in and out and when you do a save they again will save inside the file so these are the kinds of things I mean, for, let's have a look at this if we pin it down a little bit um, and grab uh, a screenshot so here I'm just going to grab a screenshot of here using the snipping tool and save that onto um, this folder which is the police and we'll overwrite that and we'll like, get rid of that zoom away go, 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 save so then we'll return back to here um, and we'll bring in that screenshot that we just um, that we just found and that will be called capture and as you can see if I oops, I'll grab this here and that's the file that we just uh, created including the annotations uh, or a screen of it just uh, to capture so again it's a way of having a lot of different components all of which can be added to notes can be used in research in a big desktop environment so um, that's kind of the slicker version hopefully whip whiz through of some of these features um, next my colleague and I are going to do a video interrogation um, something which uh, hopefully you'll enjoy more than he will thank you